Hi, Joe and Sean from PH Tennis, and we're super excited today because we've got the brand new Head Radical. So this is the what generation, Sean? They don't do generations. They don't do generations. This is the 2023 version, as used by Taylor Fritz and Andy Murray. Kind of as used by. First impressions of the racket. I think it looks good. It's bright. Like, like all the radicals have been, but I think it's slightly toned down now because it's it's lost the silver in, in a sort of uh, a dark blue. Yeah, the addition of the blue is quite a nice touch. It definitely tones down the orange, but it still has that nice pop. Um, definitely, at the moment, in my top five of racket looks. Oh. What's new in the racket, Sean? So what's new in the racket is the auxetic. That's the only addition that Head has made. Um, the mold is still the same, string patterns are still the same for the MP and the Pro. So all that's new is the Auxetic, which is gonna give it that softer feel that everyone seems to be loving in the, the Head range so far. Yeah, I think the Auxetic has been um, a, a, a fantastic addition to the Head range. What the Auxetic does, it's a material inside that's like a mesh, um, which is which stays loose, you correct me if I'm wrong Sean, it stays, right. stays loose as you swing and tightens up on contact. So it gives an extra bit of stiffness as well as flexibility. So while a lot of rackets claim to have flexibility and, and stiffness and power and control, the Auxetic really seems to have done that for head. We're showing up with some head links tour. We're gonna get on court and give it a play test and get a review out for you. Hi everyone, Josh from PH Tennis. We've just been on court to try out the brand new head Radical. This is the MP version, uh, 98 square inch head, 300 grams. Now, the Radical is a very well-known kind of silo for head. It's been around for a long time, lots of different iterations, um, and this is the latest one. The big new addition, Auxetic. Uh, so we've had a go, and to be honest, it's really good. It's an improvement on the old one. Um, it's really comfortable, really easy to get on with. So we've just come off court with the Radical, um, and as with a lot of the new head rackets, um, really impressed, really, really liked it. And one of the reasons that I, I kind of find the head rackets easy to play with myself is that it's just my, the maneuverability. I must say, I, I've always struggled with some of the other beams in terms of getting them around. I'm not sure if it's my single hander or if I'm just a bit of an all, all court player. I like to get around, and the head really is good for doing that. And I must say, this Radical, just like the, with the Auxetic in, is just like my speed in terms of the feel for it. I, I really like it. And I I much prefer it to the previous Radical. It feels really, really solid, really, really heavy, loads of control, um, which is significantly different to Radicals of the past. So very pleased with that. I know we've banged on about Auxetic, but I think it really, it really does make a difference, um, which means that compared to the old one, which we played with at the same time, um, when, you, when you swing through, it feels, it feels light until contact, and then it stiffens up kind of just the right amount. And that's the big difference between this and the old one, really. Normally, we find that when people demo rackets, or when we try them ourselves, that the ground strokes are quite easy to get the hang of. It doesn't take long to adapt to a new racket. It's serving where the problems occur. Um, and didn't happen with this. this is, I felt like I've been serving this radical forever. Um, five, six serves, and it's like I've been playing with it for ages and ages. Personally, I found serving with it really, really joyful. Really nice, really easy. Straight away on my first serve, getting loads of pop, getting some power, um, and it really seemed uh, probably the easiest record to serve with uh, out of the head range. M maybe minus the speed, um, which is pretty close uh, to the Radical itself. It particularly works when you're really swinging through it. So on the serve, it's great. You're swinging through really fast, and I think that's probably where the Auxetic really comes into its own. It's that um, going from flexion to tension, I guess, um, that really makes it feel really good. Like loads, loads of pop on the surf, surprising amount of pop on the surf. As you'd expect, it's really sort of maneuverable. It's really versatile. Um, it's quite easy to use straight away. Good on volleys um, and, and, and sort of just a really good all-rounder. The Radical is designed to be versatile. It's, you know, the clues in the name, or the advertising, I should say. So Radical versatility, it is. I volleyed well, sli took slice well, took spin well powerful it's good easy to serve with well balanced so 
all round, it's a very, very tidy racket, I think. Definitely an upgrade. I mean, this Oxetic, I'm sold on it. Um, I, it's going to be hard for me to move away from it now. Um, I know these new technologies come out every so, so often, but I'm really on board with this one. Um, it does have that flex and that movement. It's, it's so easy to swing compared to other frames for me um, but on contact yeah I, it's it's right where i want it to be so I, I really like it normally i use the um the head speed so it's not massively different racket this feels slightly stiffer it feels slightly more powerful but balance wise it feels very very similar so maybe that's part of the reason but it's a very very nice racket it feels far more solid far more well made than the old radical to be honest um not 100 percent sold on the looks yet but as often is the case with new rackets, it takes a bit of time for them to grow on you. So overall, if you're a radical user, which lots and lots of people are, it's a definite improvement. However, it's similar. You can tell it's the same family of racket, which is great, because you're not gonna have to relearn a load of uh, different feelings and shots. You can play in the same way that you currently do, but you'll generate a bit more power, it'll be a bit more comfortable, especially when you really start attacking more. The, the exotic in the frame, you can feel it kind of stiffen up um, and you get that extra bit of comfortability. That's a new word, isn't it? Comfortability. Uh, whilst you're on the front foot. It's very similar to the, to the previous version and we've, we've played with both simultaneously. And it, so that's going to be really good if you're, if you're a radical user already. It's, it's not going to be a big change. Um, and I think, I think we, that's a positive, right? We're gonna be, you're going to be able to transition straight into this, but have the benefit of that exotic of that extra bit of stiffness on contact. So it's really, ni it's really nice for that. I think the Oxetic comes into when, when you're swinging. So on the serve, on, on big ground serves. I didn't like it as much defending, um, but I play with an E-Zone and, and I think for me that's, it's easier to defend with an E-Zone because you've got that easy access to power. In terms of attacking, I think this is really good. Good maneuverability. Um, but yeah, I struggled a little bit defending to get enough pop to keep myself in points in which I was on the defense. So the kind of other records that the Radical compares with is actually within the head range as well, you've got the speed. Um, so it's slightly more uh, kind of all rounds than the speed, speed a bit more kind of attacking ground stroker. This gives you a little bit more feel, a bit more option for, for some drop shots and some touches. Um, across the other brands, it's probably going up with something like a pure strike, um, something like a blade. And to be honest, maybe not even a blade actually, maybe more of like a clash, isn't it? If you consider Wilson's all round the racket is the clash. This is heads, how do they compare? I'd say the Clash is much more of a control, leans more control. This probably leads slightly more comfort um, with a bit of, and power, um, but it's probably a genuine more of an all-rounder, I would say. Um, similar to the Yonex v -Core, which I think is quite an all-rounder as well, despite it being promoted as a spin racket, I think this is also a genuine all-rounder. So if you're looking for to be able to play an all-court game, front foot, back foot, defend, serve and volley, drive from the baseline, chips and slices and long attacking forehands, you're gonna get something from it. So we've all uh, play tested the new Radical and overall I think it got a really good, uh, really good response, really like it. I think to summarize, it's definitely an upgrade on the previous version. Um, I think probably the Auxetic, I don't know if we talk about it a lot, has made a big difference. So it feels more solid all around. Ben even said it feels that it's been manufactured better. And that's it, it does, it does, it feels more solid. It feels solid throughout, but it also feels sort of lighter and more flexible um, as you're swinging. Um, and, and, that's, and that's really that's really interesting and it's a really nice quality. Feels very flexible, feels very light, and then tightens up on contact. So with that in mind, the more you sort of swing, or the faster you swing, the more benefits you get from the racket and presumably from the auxetic. So serves are great, big, uh, big ground throw, it's really good. As you'd expect, it's maneuverable, it's versatile, as you'd expect from a radical. A not massive spin, not massive power, but a little bit of everything, a real, a real all-rounder. So in terms of who liked it, so Ben and Alex are speed users and, and they really liked the Radical, um, they, ben, ben especially, um, is, been, is very much married to his speed but felt like this was a racket he could probably migrate to. Um, and for Josh and I, I appreciate that it's a, it's a fantastic racket um, and is, an, as is definitely an upgrade. It's just quite a departure from the sort of rackets we use. Josh is a pure driver, I'm an E-Zone, so power rackets, whereas this is definitely um, an all-rounder. So overall, really positive. Again, the Exetic comes through strong for head. We're looking forward to the release and seeing what you think about it. If you're not already, subscribe to us on YouTube for all the content, all the racket views as they come out this year.
<laughs> on a scale of one to ten, this is radical. Oh, he's going to use that. Yeah, he will. He's, he's going to use that, right? Is the mic still going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is cool. <laughs> right. Oh, I didn't check my hair. I checked my hair. Joe, how's my hair looking? <laughs> Good. God, oh, losing it. It's going in here. Kids. Oh, yeah.